This is a simplified presentation that I presented uh, during a conference this year, and this was all made in IPE. First, you have the title slide, and then a few slides that reveal certain information in pictures, then the picture can change. You can have a simple step-by-step -step animation. You can have colored text that is underlined, structured text into columns, some mathematical definitions, and to be completely honest, these are pasted in pictures from the paper. So in order to make these presentations, I need to first explain uh, what is a style sheet for an IAP project and how we create the initial file that will turn into a presentation. So when we run IAP by itself, you get a brand new paper. But the problem with this example is that whatever you draw will be cropped into size of the image. The main thing that changes this behavior are called style sheets. By default, your project only has basic and standard. We need to get presentation instead of basic here. A very bare bone style sheet would look like this. I will add a link to this into a description. It is an XML file that defines how the IP file should behave. Here we define name of the style, this defines size of the page and mainly that there should be no cropping. If you then create a new test PDF using IPE and you include this style using style sheets by adding it, it will make the sheets while preserving its size irrespective of what is drawn inside. So already in this you could create your presentation. To get a better style sheet than just the bare bone one, what you can do is to run ipe with dash sheet presentation and then name of your file. This will create a brand new file which already has a sheet. This style sheet is called presentation and is included by default in your installation. We could save it from here and see what is inside. It is quite a big file that defines many different things. so. I will point you to a website where you can download it, um, otherwise you can just include it from your installation. So if you go to the official repository that holds IAP Drawing Editor, you can click through to Styles, and here you have Presentation ISY, and here is the Presentation ISY which you can download and include into your file. So after you've successfully added the presentation style, you should be able to see this sheet. So let us roughly try to create this example. So first the title slide. You may change the title in Pages Edit Title, which will create this text field at the top, which can't be changed manually. I will stick with doing it just manually by adding a text field, which will be aligned to the center. Similar to everything in the style, you can change the, the title and how it behaves in the style sheet. So having roughly the title slide, what you can then do is to add the pictures by just uh, screenshotting them and pasting them into your project. To create a new slide, you need to basically create a new page. So by Ctrl I or here, you create a new slide. Here it shows views and pages. And you can switch between them by pressing page down and page up. For some mathematical fonts, as um, I would like to use here for natural numbers, you need to add some packages that you would need in LaTeX as well. For Blackboard font, you need AMS Simp, and in Edit, Document Properties, LaTeX Preamble, you can add this package here, and it will start working in your text as well.
if you need to fix width of your font, uh, use paragraph instead of just the input text. Once you are done with this auxiliary picture, which I will not complete here, okay. uh, you can create a new view to reveal some information. So let's say this is the finished picture. I will add a new view and layer. And now I will add things to this new layer. So let me just copy this picture several times. And if I now go via page up to the previous layer, these two pictures that are in beta layer are not revealed. If I go to the next view, then they are revealed. So whatever is checked here will be revealed in the relative layer. If I, for example, unchecked alpha, they would each show only their own layer. And you can add layers here at the top by adding a new layer. And you can add new views here as well, independently of the layers. If you want to change from one slide what is drawn and remove something uh, to add something else in the other slide, then what you can do is to create a new layer and just take some elements and move them to that different layer. You can reveal it here, then you can add new view here. And in this new view, we hide them. So now we have three different views. Each is showing a subset. And if we want to add something new to this third view, we add a new layer, which will be checked in and we can draw elements here. So now we have three different views and changing from the second to the third removes some elements and adds them as well. The underlying some text is just done by having another view, another layer and using lines to underline the text. Okay, for the next slide. So this animation is simply done by revealing more and more and having a bunch of layers. I will not draw it here, but I will show how it's done in the example project. So there we have a single page that has nine different views and bunch of different layers. And as we step through the animation, the layers which contain these edges that are permanent get added and those lines in red that are shown only temporarily are shown only in layers that are then again disabled. Just to show how to do colors, well, if you want some text colored, you can add text color. And as the first parameter, you put the color you wish. And in the second parameter, you put the text that you want to be colored. This can also be mathematics. For example, how to draw this picture. Again, it's a simple rectangle. And then a different layer with a different new is created and this object is moved to that layer. So in the original layer we have nothing. And we now can create elements that mimic this final object. And we can move these objects into a different layer so that they disappear in this last one. The text that is contained inside of both would be in alpha layer and the text that gets revealed will be in beta layer. To do something like a column layout, we may simply add a paragraph 
that will contain text of the first column, add a different paragraph that will contain text of the second column, If you are not sure how to create different elements, then you should first go through a tutorial for IPE to get yourself more familiar how it works. And then using the style sheet and using pages, views and layers, you should be able to do a presentation that you want. I see a big advantage in using IPE being that you actually see what you are creating and that the result is in directly PDF that you can just show. And there is no need for a compilation or changing some formats. A disadvantage is very closely tied to this. So one thing you cannot really do is some flowing animations. You can do step by step is really a restriction of being in a PDF format. One extra thing that I would like to point out is that on the official IPE website you can find IPE Presenter. The IPE Presenter is an auxiliary program that can be used for presentation. So if I run my example in IPE Presenter, what happens is that the PDF is opened in this program and you can run Show Presentation, which will create a new window this one you would show on different screen and on your screen you would see uh, first what is the current slide and you will also see what is the next slide. If you have some notes added to your presentation which can be done in pages edit notes then those will show up here so that you don't forget to mention anything. To install the iPresenter go through to its home page and see the installation instructions here. I hope this video was useful for you.